Improv After Show with Kim and Anderson and oh, Tiffany. Yeah. Tiffany, yeah. Tiffany, I was, you know, I was worried that the palace in Miami was never gonna find a new home. Me too. I thought I was gonna be a broke bitch for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, what, 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 what is your sign off that I love so much? I even wrote it in ah, my book. Yes, you put it in the book. It's um, well, the whole thing is whatever you do in life, don't be a dry hoe, be a greasy bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's Tiffany's Housewives tagline, I guess. Uh, let's go to the phones. Call her what's your name and from where are words to live by, right, Anderson? I, actually, my mom told me that when I was Yeah, she on. did. Gloria Vanderbilt told you that. <laughs> Don't be a dry hoe, be a greasy bitch. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, let's uh, go she back. She actually said greasy, but. Greasy, yeah. yeah. Greasy. Let's go back to the phones. Call her what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, my name is Gia. I'm calling from Winchester, Virginia, and my question's for Anderson. Okay. Um, what did you think of the SNL Kenny Wise sketch with you and Kelly Ann as the clown from It? Yeah, you know, uh, I haven't seen It because I don't like scary movies, but I happened to be in a hotel room and turn on SNL just when that was on, and um, yeah, I thought it was really well done. I mean, it was very, you know, it was very clever. I mean, it was tough on Kelly and Conway, but it was, uh, <laughs> I thought the guy playing me was, was good, and uh, yeah, it was very well done. Back to the phones. Call her, what's your name, and from where are you calling? Kelly from Dallas. Hey, Kelly, what's your question? Hey, Andy, I hope you and Anderson had a blast at the Roundup when you guys were here. We did. Yeah, we had a good time. <laughs> My question is for Kim. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is the current status of you and Nini's relationship? And also, what's the likelihood that you will become friends again? That I will what again? Become friends. You will become friends again. Uh. <laughs> I just, you know, we've always kind of been on this roller coaster. I never know how she feels about me. Honestly, I don't. Um, she's very unstable. Um, but I, we've been through some stuff, and she's said some very disrespectful things, I feel like, more recently, that are not tolerable. Racism for me is, you know, um, something that I just i am not, and I don't want my family to go through it. And it's been a little rough. Um, I know deep down, Nini used to be, like, she has a big heart. Um, I just sometimes think her ego gets in uh, the mix, which makes it tough. So never say never, but um, I'm pretty much finished. Um, I... You know, she once drunk dialed me uh, while I was on the air, yelling into the phone, don't be tardy for the party. <laughs> She did. No, she did. She was. She, with she really did. She was. With it was left on a message. Oh, okay. Yeah. She was with she you. She was with okay. Andy. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Well, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Shelly from Kansas City. Hey, Shelly, what's your question? Hey, my question is for Kim. Okay. Um, how hard was it to have that phone conversation with your mom on "Don't Be Tardy," and how is your relationship with your parents now? Oh, I don't feel like it was that hard because I'm a little bit numb to the whole situation, but. Um, you know what, I've just moved on. They've commented recently in the press um, regarding cash and sin, which they've not met either. And that's just really, I mean, I'm just done. It's just, you know what, too much. Oh, yeah. man, I don't like this. Yeah, too much. Let's go to Cheryl from Florida. Hey, Cheryl, what's your question? Uh, oh, hi, everybody. Hey. I have a two-part question for Anderson. Okay. okay. Um, with this crazy political climate where news breaks minute by minute, how do you stay centered? Are you totally exhausted, or are you able to put it aside at night? You know, I'm heavily medicated, so... Um, <laughs> kidding, I'm not medicated. Uh, look, it's, you know, it's an exciting time. It's an incredible time in this country's history, and so to be part of it is, you know, it's, it's fascinating and amazing, and, yeah, it's exhausting. It's exhausting, I'm sure, for the people, you know, in the, in the White House and all throughout Washington, and, um, but it's, it's an important time, so I'm just glad to be part of it. Um, back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Holly from Massachusetts. Hey, Holly, what's your question? Uh, my question's for Anderson. Anderson, what are you most scared of with Andy co-hosting <laughs> New Year's Eve with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I really, uh, four and a half hours is a long time, and I don't know that we've ever, I mean, our, the show AC2 two that we do. It's two hours. It's two hours. Um, so, yeah, I, I just don't know. You don't think I have the stamina? No, I, I, a, I, I don't know you're you going to be used it. to the cold. And, I and I'm just not, you know, I, I'm not that worried. I think it's going to be really fun. Back to the phones. <laughs> Last call of the night. <laughs> Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hey, Andy, it's Sabrina. I'm from Seattle. Hey, Sabrina, what's your question? Uh, my question's for Anderson. 
Anderson. Hey. Since you were named as one of people's sexiest newsmen, what do you think is the most and least sexy thing about yourself? Most sexy and least sexy thing about yourself? Um, most sexy? I, I don't think I have really anything sexy about myself. Uh, least your sexy eyes are about sexy. myself? Your eyes are um, right, yeah. He's got pretty eyes. I don't know. It's I'm just so not sexy. my own type that the way I you like. you swim, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say my scrawny little chicken legs. I'll go back to the your, your, yeah. your legs. You're upset yeah. about your I'm legs? A little, uh, yes. Well, I want your are legs. You do, are you great. working on your calves like we talked about? You know, about? you can work on calves <laughs> all day long. It's hard to get calves bigger. I know. Yeah. I have we'll naturally trade. big calves. I know you do. That's why you show them off. Good oh, for right. you, Andy. Yes. Thank you, Kim. Uh-huh. Uh, I want to thank Kim. I come from a long line of layabouts. <laughs> Go to ac2live.com for tickets to see me and Anderson. Watch us New Year's Eve. Check out Kim on the Real House of Atlanta. See Tiffany at the Palace in Miami. For more, click around robertsv.com tonight, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.